Hello friends, this is Manuraj here from Gadgetada. Today I'm here to show you some of the hidden features of Xiaomi Mi A2 after the Android Pie update. Some of the features you will be already knowing but it will be worth trying out. So without further wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started, the first in the list is Accessibility Menu. To enable the Accessibility Menu, you need to go to the Settings, click on Accessibility and there you will see something called Accessibility Menu. So you will have to turn that toggle on. So once you turn the toggle on, you will see a new accessibility tab on your navigation bar. So once you click on it, you will get nine useful shortcuts like Google Assistant, Screenshot, Recent Apps, Settings, Lock Screen. All are quite useful and you can just use it with a single tab. So moving to the next feature in the list is to remove animations. To remove animation you can just turn the toggle on the accessibility menu and once you turn this on all the animations will be shut down like moving from one app to app or like from settings there will be a lot of animation all these animations will be turned off. So if you are a person who don't like animations you can def definitely try this out. So moving to the next feature in the list is volume shortcuts. To enable this you just need to go to the media settings and there you will see something called shortcut to prevent ringing. Then you can choose what action that needs to be performed. You can either select vibrate, mute or do nothing. So then what you have to do is just press and hold the power and the volume up button to directly go to vibrate mode or you can directly go to silent mode by pressing power button and volume up button. So moving to the next feature in the list is lockdown mode. To activate this you will have to go to security settings and then you will have to select lock screen and preferences. Then you will see something called show lockdown option. So what it does is when you turn this on, when you press and hold the power button you will get an additional setting called lockdown. So when you enable that what happens is it, it will lock all the other ways of unlocking your phone like face unlock or your fingerprint scanner. The only way you will be able to unlock your phone will be using your pin or your pattern that you have created. So moving to the next in the list to view standby apps. In Android P it actually categorizes apps based on how frequently you use them and limit their access to device resources accordingly. So based on your usage the apps are categorized into 4 categories and if you want to change them you can directly change it from here. So moving to the next in the list is to turn on Bluetooth automatically while driving. To find this setting you need to go to the developer options and developer options you will have to find something called feature flags and in that you will see a setting called Bluetooth while driving. You just need to enable that toggle to move from true to false. I mean false to true. So moving to the next feature in the list is text magnification. So whenever you are using your browser and you want the text to be magnified you can just simply select that particular portion and slide your fingers through so that all the text will be magnified and you will be easy and it will be easy for you to read. So moving to the next feature in the list is auto rotate shortcut. Most of you will be turning on the auto rotate feature but the most annoying thing is even your small tilt will end up rotating your screen. So you can just disable the auto rotate feature and, and once you rotate your phone you will see a new icon on your navigation bar which helps you rotate your phone. You can either move from portrait to landscape or from landscape to portrait. So moving to the next feature in the list is wind down mode. So you can first set up bedtime schedule on when you are going to sleep and the next thing is it will reduce the brightness it will reduce the brightness and enable night light so that it will help you relax your eyes then the next thing is you can it will avoid all the interruptions so it will activate the do not disturb mode and it will not allow any notification to come so wind down mode is actually an automatic do not disturb mode designed to help the users who lost continuous hours of sleep using their smartphone so what users can do is they can set up bedtime for themselves and when it, the time comes the phone will start fading to grayscale and makes it more difficult to see and encourage them to shut their phones off. You can also set the time when you wake up so that the phone will restore the settings and go back to the normal mode. 
So moving to the next feature in this list is to turn off Wi-Fi hotspot when nobody is using. So you can access the setting by going to Wi-Fi and hotspot setting and there you can go to advanced setting and turn the toggle on. So whenever no users are connected to your Wi-Fi hotspot, it will automatically turn the hotspot off saving your battery. So moving to the last feature in the list is to turn off mobile data when you are using the Wi-Fi. So to access this setting, you can directly go to your developer setting and you will see an option called mobile data always active. So you can enable this toggle or disable this toggle. So once you disable this toggle when you are using Wi-Fi, your mobile data will be always turned off. Okay guys, that's it for the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button, do share it to your friends and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. So until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.